What's going on, everybody? This is Steven at Big Fish Audio. I hope you're doing well wherever you may be. Today, I'm going to give you a little useful tip on how to use the sub bass slice effects in Momentum. So, right now, I have kit eight of Hit Life loaded in, and I'm currently checking out this drum loop here, which sounds like this. Now, you might be thinking, uh, this particular loop doesn't have a lot of sub. The kick is a little bit weak on it. The reason for that is in kit eight, this is matched up with an 808, and the 808 is really the dominant loop uh, when played together for those sub frequencies, so you didn't want that much in that kick. Two of them together sound like this. So you can hear in that context, uh, it works really well. But in our purpose today, if you stumbled across this drum loop and you're like, uh, that's a really nice drum loop, I want to have some more beef to the kick though, um, you might think, okay, well, we could add some EQ to it. Uh, and the problem with that is, is there's not enough low end information even in that kick to add anything substantial enough to really beef that up. Uh, you might also think, well, we could maybe pitch that kick down. You know, and it is a cool effect on its own, but it's really not doing what you needed it to do. So we're gonna go ahead and load in the sub bass slice effects here. And now just on the kicks, we're gonna go ahead and add in some mix on that. And what's nice too is now, instead of using it in the mixer section here where you can load up a sub bass here as well, we do have control just individually. Make sure that uh, if you just slapped it over the top of everything, it's gonna uh, potentially be adding sub to things that you don't want sub to be added to. This max frequency knob here tells it where, what maximum frequency uh, will you be adding that sub bass to in the original source, and then you can also adjust the tone of it. So if you just wanted to add low end, real low end sub stuff, and then you can change the overall tone. Now because this is a mix knob, it is lowering the original source volume a little bit. So we can go ahead and also add a transient uh, effect on here on those kicks to just add a little bit more attack back in. So you can hear this lowers the attack and this brings it back up. And now we can also go back to the mixer and we can then add a little bit more EQ now that there's more low end EQ information to even add to. So here's before, we're gonna turn these off, turn off the EQ. And here's after. So that is all for this one. I hope you learned a little something. Hope you guys are having fun with momentum and we'll see you next time.